Well, there I am. This is where I am. And just here for a couple hours, thought I'd give a quick swing through. Park dive. Only managed to find, find a Merc and a Rosie and some weird silver thing, sterling thing. Got myself a weedy. In the hole with this little bit, it was a little choppy. A little bit of iron. It was a little choppy. And um, down about uh, eh, five, six inches. So, uh, yeah, just gonna meander it, see what I can find. And uh, another weedy here. Uh, about four inches down. Kind of a weird one. It might be another. Might be another coin here. Um, just for time reference, today is Halloween, 2023. What a great day for Halloween. It's not supposed to rain. It's nice and kind of warm. For once, kids get a good Halloween night. All right. Well, one of the funny things about this park, and I, I should go back and try to find my video. I don't have it on. I don't. I have no no video saved on my computer, but um, <laughs> the, I hunted this park with the Oregon Treasure Trail Society. And I remember counting out, so it was kind of, it's interesting how the Oregon Treasure Trail Society used to do it. I'm not sure if they still do it, but they had a point system. So you got points for like silver, you got points for wheat pennies and coins and, you know, etc. So you got a point system set up. And I remember that we counted out, there was a group of us, about five or six. There was a picnic table, like right here, either like right here or right there. I wish I could go back and get that video, but it was, wasn't out too far. It was by the trees, and we counted out our coins and stuff. So, so far behind me, I found two wheat pennies, and I've got an indentation of a coin here. I already know what it is because I flipped it over, but there's the indentation. Now, the weird thing is, is I don't know if this coin was deep, and I, it came up with the... because um, it, it all got messed up. There's a root here that, that my plug got broken in half. But the weird thing with this thing is, I'm in recovery five, 26 sensitivity because the grass is a little tall. Um, I hit this and it was super scratchy, not very good. I mean, easily could have missed this one. Um, so what I did is, I wish I wish I would have recorded, but you know, I'm I, I'm not expecting to find too much through here, really, honestly. It's been pounded. I've hit a lot. I came. I've actually came here not too long ago with the the, the manicure. And I didn't find anything, but I did find that sterling thing that was out here. I guess I shouldn't say I didn't find anything because I did find something. But anywho, so I turned up the um, I turned up the recovery speed. Well, I turned it down actually. I went down to three and I went this way, and it came in a lot better. But in three, when I went this way, I had no tone at all. So I turned it up to like seven and went over it, and it was kind of popping. It was just a popping in and out, in and out. It's really strange. I go back to five, and I can get the tone, and I can also get a little bit going the other direction. Whereas in three, it, it didn't do that. It came in better in one direction, but not the other. It's a fine line for the recovery speed. I mean, I have a feeling that this target, I mean, I don't know if it was underneath and got pulled up, like I said, when the, the thing broke, or if it was shallow. But it was not giving me a good high tone. Um, it was not giving me a good repeatable tone. I mean, this was, this was missed by, I mean, many, many, many detectorists. Um, I've been here. I've walked these trees before with the E-Track and the Manicore, and I missed this. And um, it happens to be a rosy. And that just blows my mind again that that we've missed this. And granted, it was it wasn't very deep, but I might, like I said, I might have pulled it up. But um, yeah, there's my indentation and my coin. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. The big the big story here is um, it, it's doing a good job, you know. Um, looks like 1957. I'll take it. Wow. Let's see if I can pick up some more of these while we're just meandering. 
All right, well, so this is what I'm saying. I just found that Rosie on the other side of that tree right there, and I've been just meandering right between these trees, and right here next to the sidewalk where we all parked that day, and we just, oh my gosh. I don't know what I got. It's half dollar size, but it's not silver. And it was down about six, seven inches, and it was coming in a very scratchy, iffy target. And I'm just gonna assume that this was on edge, whatever this is. But definitely a coin. Thin, it's kind of thin. But um, not coming in. Looks like it's got an eagle on it. Oh, and I can get a date. What is this? Let me see if I could just. I got these cobwebs going on. What the heck? I think I got. I got to think I got a spider bite. It's really not coming in that high. Like 63. Straight across. 63. Yeah. Very strange. I thought I was digging a um, weedy. So um, I'm going to give it a little, um, you know, S-P-I-T and uh, clean it up and I'll be right back. All right, well, you're seeing this the same moment I am here because I don't know what this is or what country this is from. F-D. No idea. My third first thought was Canadian, but it does say 1879, and it's got like a dude or something or a person sitting. Hard to tell. Let's try to get where the sun can maybe give me a little shadow, but. I'll try and keep looking this up if any of you know what it is. Let me know. Um, it's not. I don't know. I have to look at these with a magnifying glass a little bit better to see if I could um, figure out what it says. And then figure out what this is on the back. Oh, there we go. It's something like that. Almost looks like a seated, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's not. All right. Well, that is a major surprise. 1879 coin. Sitting there about five inches down. Barely detectable. Must have been super on edge. Because like I said, if you put coins on edge with this detector, they, they, you almost lose them. Wow. All right, well, another weedy. It's probably down about six inches. And it's very strange just because the grass is a little, little tall here and the tall grass is probably three and a half inches alone. This was, these are coming in really scratchy. So it's like if you hit it and you go over it, it's just a popping in and out signal. It's not very good, but they're there. Well, that's all I found for a couple hours walk. And actually, that's not bad considering, like I said, this park I've hit quite a bit. So, ratio, four dimes, four uh, pennies, no quarters. We've got three Wheaties, the Rosie, and this 1879 looks like British. It's a bronze coin. So, pretty cool. Um, it says Victoria on it, um, some initials there, and uh, it says Brit on one side and something, but um, then there's a guy on the back side. So if you type in 1879 and Victoria, 1879 large cent in Victoria, you'll see this guy come up. Pretty excited. It's pretty pretty cool so um, just to give you a little history um, we're near the town if you want to look it up on the map and stuff we're uh, near the town of Westland but this little district right here is called the Willamette and Willamette is a very old little district here and a lot of old houses that run along here too but not a whole lot in the park um, 
uh, found, I mean, at least not from me, um, pretty good sized park, uh, a lot of water access here, so fishermen, etc. have been coming here for many years, um, but I'll take what I get, and this was pretty good for my short hunt. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.